By the end of this video, we're going to have a countdown timer displaying both minutes and seconds, or seconds and milliseconds. So, in a new project, we'll right click in the hierarchy and go UI button and import text mesh pro. And this will be our timer start button. Just going to make this look pretty. Now we'll right click on our canvas and go UI text. And this will be our timer text. Now we're going to set our timer text to be not active, so it won't appear until we click our start button. So on our timer text in the top of the inspector, untick this box, you can see it's grayed out. Now let's create a game object to control our timer, called timer controller. With this selected, in the inspector, add a new component and click new script, and we'll also call this timer controller. Double click this now to open it up. So in our script at the top, we'll add our variables, a public float for start time, and a private float called time left. Then we'll want a public text mesh pro or TMP underscore text uh, timer text and a public button for our start button. You can hover over the red underline to import any needed references. Now we can remove our start function and down in our update we'll type if time left is greater than zero then our timer is going to tick down, else our timer is finished. So in our if, we'll go time left minus equals time dot delta time. Then we'll go timer text dot text equals time left dot two string. And inside the brackets, we're going to put our formatting that we want. So that depends on how you like it. But we're going to go with 0, 0.00 here so we can see our milliseconds. Then we're going to add a new public void start clicked function for when our start button gets clicked and go time left equals start time. Then we'll set our start button to be not active. So start button dot game object dot set active to false. And then we'll make our timer text appear. So timer text dot game object dot set active to true. When the timer is finished, we're going to want to do the opposite of this. So just copy and paste these over and switch true and false on both of these booleans. Then in the future, if you want to add a game over screen or a retry button or any player stats that happen during this timer, you can add that code here. Back in Unity, let's select our timer controller and fill in our public variables. So we'll set our start time to be 5, which means 5 seconds. We'll drag our timer text into our timer text slot and our start button into the start button slot. Now click on our start button and in the inspector, scroll down and click the plus under on click. Drag our timer controller over into the on click slot. Then in the drop down, go timer controller and select start clicked. Now when we press play and hit start, we can see our timer counting down from 5 in seconds and milliseconds. Now let's try minutes out. So in the start time variable in timer controller, let's put in 120 seconds, which is 2 minutes. You can see this is still displaying in seconds and milliseconds. To get this into minutes and seconds, we'll need to reformat. So, back in our script, let's create a new function called void format to min sex. Could have thought of a better name. <laughs> Inside here, we'll go float mins equals math f dot floor to int time left divided by 60. Then float sex equals math f dot floor to int. And in here, we'll put time left percentage 60. Then we'll set our timer text dot text to equal string dot format. And then in here, we'll put curly braces zero colon zero zero then outside the curly braces, another colon, then more curly braces, and inside this we'll put one colon zero zero. Then we'll pass in our mins and our sex seconds. Then up in our format, we'll say if time left is greater than 60, we'll want our minutes and seconds, else we'll do what we've already got. So then we'll grab our format to min sex, and call this when our time left is greater than 60. Now when our time left is above 60, it's shown as minutes and seconds. And when it's three, two, one below, <laughs> it's in seconds and milliseconds. 
so you can use whichever format you like. All the code for this and all my other projects are on my Patreon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.